This video is made to help you understand clinical trials and answer some common questions regarding its process. Clinical trials are part of clinical research and are at the heart of all medical advances. Clinical trials look at new ways to prevent, detect, and treat disease. One of the ways to know if a particular medicine or treatment works is to study them thoroughly in the targeted population. Thanks to clinical trials, doctors and scientists can find out which medicines and treatments can best improve health. Clinical trials also help discover if a medicine causes unwanted symptoms like headaches, fevers, redness, or swelling. These are called side effects or adverse effects, which are monitored in trials. What are the different types of clinical trials? There are several types of clinical trials, including prevention trials, screening trials, and treatment trials. Not all clinical trials involve testing new drugs. Some studies, such as a biobank study, may review human biological samples and medical information about patients, while another type of trial, called observational study, may gather information to spot treatment experiences, trends, and unnoticed important factors about the condition. In trials to study drugs or treatments, there are four phases of testing. Phase one, trials where medicines are tested for safety. A study is developed for a group of 20 to 100 healthy people who take a small amount of a given medicine and are monitored for any effects on their bodies. Phase two trials are conducted to determine the appropriate amount of medicine for each type of patient. 100 to 500 patients participate. A minimum amount of medicine is also tested to discover how it might improve people's health and what side effects may happen. Scientists test medicines to understand their side effects. Patients should tell their doctors if they feel any discomfort or strange sensations. Phase 3 trials, where approximately 1,000 to 5,000 patients participate, have the medicine compared with currently available treatments or with a placebo if there are no treatments for the disease. If there are side effects, scientists also evaluate if the new drug is the best possible option over current therapies. Phase 4 trials, where the efficacy and safety of a medicine continues to be studied after it is already on the market to look out for any additional findings in the long term. Each study has its own rules about who can, or cannot, participate based on age, gender, type of disease, and various other factors. So not everyone is chosen to participate. What is a placebo, and why is it given during clinical trials? A placebo is an inactive substance that looks and is used in the same way as an active drug or treatment being tested. The effects of the active drug or intervention are compared to the effects of the placebo or inactive substance. Because a placebo isn't an active treatment, it does not have a significant effect, allowing researchers to compare the results from it to those from the actual drug to determine a drug's effectiveness. Why should clinical trials include a diverse group of people? Many people experience both diseases and treatments differently making it essential for clinical trials to include people across living conditions and characteristics such as race, ethnicity, age, and sex, so everyone can benefit from scientific advances. The benefits of new medicines must always outweigh their risks. Yet, for some populations like, say, in women and children, not all medicines and treatments prescribed to them may have been studied exclusively for them. Therefore, inclusion guidelines have adopted the need to increase diverse groups ranging in race, ethnicity, age, and sex to be tested in clinical trials. Why should one want to take part in clinical trials? Having more diverse groups participate help researchers find better treatments for others in the future. Joining any clinical trial is completely voluntary, and you get to decide if you want to participate or leave a trial whenever you want. If you decide to participate, all your information is confidential. To conclude, the process that a medicine or treatment follows until it gets to our home is rigorous and long. 
From the initial idea at the laboratory until the medicine is tested and finally approved, more than 12 years may go by. And many ideas get dropped along the way. Only one out of 10,000 medicines under research go to market. Without research, there would be no scientific improvements or new medicines. The step you take to join a clinical trial will help people and scientists all over the world. We hope this information helps you to consider participating in a clinical trial that you are eligible for. If you have any additional questions about clinical trials or participating in one, talk to your primary care provider.